Hey everybody, uh, welcome to the vlog for today. Uh, yesterday I did a vlog about snow removal. Sorry it's going to be a little loud because I'm near traffic today. Um, but I was talking about how the city didn't really have a plan for side streets. So here you can see behind me this is US Route 23. Um, it's uh, pretty well plowed. Um, it's, you know, there's some, there's a turn lane in the middle that's got standing snow on it. It's kind of slick. But the real problem is right here, the side streets when you switch to them. Now, last night, um, I, so I think this snow fell on Friday and it's Wednesday now. And so I didn't really have to go anywhere. Uh, so when I was pulling out, it wasn't, you know, I didn't really go anywhere until, um, I think yesterday, or yeah, it was yesterday that I, um, went somewhere and uh, when I was leaving as shown in the vlog yesterday which you should go watch if you're curious um, I got stuck here and I had to pull back and I saw a whole bunch of other people doing that now one of the problems is that um, people are really bad at uh, driving in snow they don't know that you shouldn't spin your tires when you spin your tires you actually get um, one third of the traction. Uh, they call it the coefficient of sliding friction, where the tire is sliding on the ice and snow, versus the coefficient of static friction, which is where your tire relative to the ground is not moving. So you're not doing burnouts. So what I saw happening is I came out here after work and I decided, um, since it had been there uh, for several days and people were just trucking through it, uh, but you know with varying results, I decided to come out here and shovel it. And I was also talking about how uh, yesterday in the vlog, I was talking about how there are a lot of uh, unused assets. Like we look behind me there, there's a snow plow. Uh, it's uh, finished plowing, or it looks like he might actually might be getting ready to plow a business address. So that's being used on a business, but when he's done there, he's just gonna go on to the next business and stuff. But there's still a lot of snow removal that needs to be done, especially on side streets and stuff. Now the question is like, who's gonna pay them and all that kind of stuff. I did learn um, that there are, there's an app for that, but apparently they take a pretty exorbitant fee. I think it's a uh, $20 a plow uh, from what I heard. And that's like, you know, two thirds of what uh, plow drivers I talked to were charging. So anyway, I came out here and I started hand shoveling it and I put it in this big pile here um, because people were getting stuck and uh, they were being pretty reckless. They're revving their engines and flying across and stuff like that. So I just wanted to make it easier for them. And after I got about half the street, just taken down a couple inches, you know, just so that people wouldn't bottom out on the snow, um, all of a sudden I look up and uh, there's a, a guy with a plow truck and he saw me working in the dark. I, you know, I had a fluorescent vest on and uh, a red light on my head just so you know working in the street you don't want to get hit by somebody and uh, he just dropped his blade and uh, pushed all this snow over here and it took him about uh, five minutes a couple passes but he uh, he fixed up the neighborhood for us now you know turns out he's a local and stuff like that so you know just kind of helping out neighbors but uh, I started talking with them about some of the themes from my video about, uh, well, you know, how the, this whole let's all pool our resources and only clear some of the roads um, and, and then have a lot of wasted capacity otherwise. Uh, I was talking with them about that and so he seemed really interested in uh, improving the situation, especially as a private plow owner. But uh, yeah, it was pretty interesting. So he went and he cleared it all out after I got started on it, so it's always nice. Uh, when you stop relying on government, take matters into your own hands, then uh, someone else comes and uh, you know risks possible fines and penalties to uh, to help you in doing so. So uh, thanks a lot to the uh, anarcho-capitalist snowplow driver I encountered, and uh, you know he he he'd been up I think 36 hours plowing various businesses. He was on his way home and just decided to uh, to do that to be nice. So, um, but then, don't worry, the uh, government announced today that they're going to try and start getting to uh, tier three streets. Now, the weather forecast is that it's going to start warming up tomorrow, which is, uh, or actually it's going to start warming up on Friday. So a week after the snow initially fell. And um, this street here has already been plowed by the city now. Uh, they came through this morning and what mostly they did is they took 
a area that was here and they, they plowed uh, a little ridge of snow down the street uh, where people had kind of trampled it, uh, trampled it down and were able to get into their cars without getting their feet too snowy. And now they made a little berm that they have to either shovel or um, step over or climb over. And if that refreezes, that's going to be especially treacherous. So I'm going to have to get out there and uh, help my neighbors to kind of clear that off to the side. So in my opinion, having the city plow come down this street um, plowing uh, was actually kind of worse because it was already trampled down. It was in, it was ice. Uh, if they threw salt, that would have been helpful. But then when they got to the end, my wife saw it's it's a little bit better now because some cars have gone over it. I was uh, busy this morning uh, helping out some colleagues with an emergency. Um, but you can see there now there are some ridges there in the snow, and um, that's because when the city truck did come down, it um, it went and it just lifted its blade and left a big pile of snow at the mouthway to the road, which. You know that's been the worst part the the least passable part of the road has been the entrance you know once you get on the part where everyone's kind of packed down two tracks it's been pretty easy so anyway i figured i'd tell that story uh, i thought it was pretty funny that just yesterday after i was uh talking about it uh we got some examples of uh you know how things go and uh nice and sunny out so we should get some sublim sublimation anywhere it's been uh cleaned off down to the uh, to the ground, to the surface. Um, most of my walkways and stuff are like that. Um, I actually, I shoveled this last night. So there's a, there's a thin layer and uh, hopefully with the sun, some of that's gonna sublimate even though it's below freezing. Oh, actually, speak of the devil, I see a city plow coming now. So uh, should be interesting to see. Um, yeah, they kind of, when they plow the main street, they kind of leave a, uh, a big pile there. So, uh, yeah, here comes one of the snow warriors, they're called. So, and that's just a, uh, a regular city dump truck. Um, in the summer, I prefer to call them the dirt warriors because um, they help the city in its never ending war against transporting dirt. Um, and, you know, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a lot of work to go out and plow snow and everything, but, uh, there are a lot of private people who do it, and we don't call them snow warriors or anything exotic like that. Um, it's kind of like the whole mythology around first responders. Well, I mean, if they're the first to respond, then who arrived at the scene and called 911? Well, any programmer will tell you that was the zeroth responders, and uh, I'm proud to be a zeroth responder. Um, little programming joke there. So anyway, yeah, I just wanted to... Uh, follow up and uh, get my blog in for today and uh, hope you guys are all having a good time. Uh, the National Weather Service is forecasting um, higher than normal temperatures for several weeks so once this starts melting on Friday uh, it's going to rain uh, fairly steadily on Saturday and Sunday and uh, after that it should be sunny and nice so whatever doesn't get you know, knocked down by the rain. There's, there may be some piles still where it was packed down really well. But um, wherever there are still, uh, you know, wherever there aren't piles, it should be pretty clear and it might even dry up a little bit. Uh, one thing that I am a little concerned about is with this much um, snow everywhere across the region, uh, when you have a warming trend like that, it's all going to transfer into water and run downstream. So we're likely to have some flooding uh, probably uh, north, uh, North uh, west of Marion, there's an area that tends to flood a lot. So I'd expect we'll see some flooding there and then also possibly in uh, some of the valleys down south. So hopefully uh, hopefully it's not too much and everything will handle it, but uh, I don't know, we'll see. So uh, anyway, here's looking for some warm weather and a break from shoveling. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.